Hello friends, welcome to EV Quotient's podcast series. Today we are going to talk about the safety of electric vehicles. Everything you need to know about the safety of an electric vehicle. Sounds interesting, right? You may have million queries in mind about the safety of an electric vehicle. Hopefully, by the end of this podcast, you will have most of the answers. Electric vehicle safety is enhanced by the technological advancements as well as stringent regulations which are enforced globally and in India. We have divided the discussion into three parts. Crash safety, fire safety and electrical shock safety. Let's start off with crash safety. Crash safety can be further subdivided into two parts. One is active safety and another one is passive safety. Active safety are features which prevents accidents. With EVs, the number of accidents are low because of the following reasons. Point A. In an electric vehicle, the battery is the heaviest component. And since batteries are placed beneath the floor, center of gravity of an EV is lower than a petrol or a diesel car. It serves as an inbuilt safety system and makes EV quite stable while driving as well as cornering. Point B. In EVs, the ability to control torque at each of the wheel is far more precise. This helps to reduce tire slippages and hence the number of accidents. Point C. Electric vehicles are heavier than conventional petrol and diesel cars, which leads to higher kinetic energy. That's a problem. This challenge is addressed by tuning the active safety features like ABS, which is anti-lock braking system, and ESP, which is electronic stability program, to suit the requirement. Point D. Weight distribution of electric vehicle is nearly uniform across the front and rear axles compared to heavier front axle load on petrol cars. This helps EV to remain stable during hard braking. Now let's move on to passive safety. Passive safety features help save the occupants after the accident. Electric vehicles go through similar crash safety tests like an internal combustion engine cars, such as frontal crash, side impact, and rear crash. The most important EV component which needs to be protected in the event of a crash is the battery box. Different OEMs address this issue differently. For example, Polestar, the brand owned by Volvo Cars, have designed a SPOC block. They call it as Spock block, specifically designed to minimize the intrusion of the wheel, tire and other object towards the battery pack in the event of a collusion. Whereas Tesla have securely encased the battery box in a crash-proof steel casing that can withstand front, side and rear impacts. This reduces the damage to battery components and hence avoids spillages and fire. In addition to the above, absence of a heavy mass like engine in the front improves functional crumple zone of the electric vehicle. This helps to avoid rupture of the firewall into the passenger compartment, improving the safety of the occupant. Moving on to the second part, which is fire safety. This topic is split into two subtopics. First one is preventing fire hazard and then post fire safety. Preventing fire hazard. Electric vehicles are safer than ICE cars due to the lower flammability of lithium ion batteries. In addition to this, Improved battery chemistry plays a key role. Battery cells have separators between anode and cathode. These separators are coated with select inorganic materials to enhance the thermal, mechanical and electrochemical performances of the battery. Cooling. Most automakers have shifted to liquid cooling technologies to keep the temperature of the battery, motor and power electronics in a safe operating temperature range. And finally, the tests and validations. Batteries undergo the following abusive tests to ensure they are safe from any fire hazard. Electrical short circuit test, fire resistance test, 
radiant heat test, mechanical crush and battery drop test. Because of these reasons, the probability of an EV catching fire is lower than internal combustion engine cars. According to an analysis carried out by an US agency from a database of 60,000 crashes, fire was found in 4.4% of IC engine cars as against only 2.6% of EVs. Post-fire safety. In case of an unfortunate fire accident, gasoline fire starts almost immediately and spreads rapidly. Whereas electric vehicle battery fire typically takes some time to achieve the heat necessary to start the fire. That delay can let the occupants of an EV to get out of the vehicle in time. Tesla provides an extra aluminium plate for fire protection between the battery pack and passenger compartment. Though not mandatory, it helps to keep the vehicle safe, isn't it? Leading automakers including Toyota, Tesla, Volkswagen, BYD and BMW are investing heavily in developing next generation solid state battery technology that should lead to more safer batteries. Hope you are feeling a lot safer now. Can we now deep dive into our last part, which is electrical shock safety. Electric vehicles operate at a very high voltage compared to petrol or diesel cars. ICE cars run on a 12 volt battery system, whereas electric vehicles operate at a voltage band of 400 to 800 volt. To ensure safe operation and handling of electric vehicles, the high voltage cables and connectors are protected with multiple layers of shield and insulation. I'm now going to take you on a tour of different scenarios you might face while driving. In the event of flooding, the electrical components in an EV are well protected to avoid dust and water ingress. The regulatory standard which ensures ingress protection is called the IP standard. IP stands for ingress protection. Electric vehicles need to clear IP67 certifications before they can be sold in open market. IP67 protects electric vehicle components from dust and water ingress up to one meter depth. OEMs do extensive validation including water wading tests to ensure IP compliance. You would have seen Nexon EV which is from Tata Stable, undergoing water wading test in a couple of YouTube videos. The next scenario is in the event of damage. Electric vehicle batteries are connected to the motor through a secure connector. This connector is switched on or off via a pyrofuse attached to the battery box. This pyrofuse helps isolate the battery box from rest of the vehicle during an accident. This way, both the occupants and rescuers remain safe from an electric shock post the accident. Pyrofuse is a semiconductor device which blows out the cable connection to the high voltage battery by means of a miniature explosion, thereby quickly and effectively shutting off the power circulation. This way, pyrofuse eliminates the risk of electrical shock or fire post accident. The last scenario is the charging safety. Charging cables and the charging stations are waterproof and are fully insulated from any electric shock. Plus, features like undercharge and overcharge protections adds to the safety. Charging connectors also come with a theft proof lock mechanism which prevents anyone from disconnecting the cable from a vehicle while charging. On that note, we come to an end of this podcast. It's truly electrifying, right? Hope you found it useful. We would love to hear from you. See you soon in our next podcast. Until then, stay connected with our Twitter account at the rate EV Quotient for more exciting updates about the EV world.